if you ever thought about polishing a car, you certainly need one of these. A paint thickness gauge. This is the Itari TC115. The gauge features a backlighted LCD display, which can display mils as well as micron. Not only can it help you to determine paint thickness when polishing the paint, but also when buying a second-hand car to check if panels have been repainted. Included in the kit next to the gauge is a carrying pouch, a ferrous as well as a non-ferrous substrate and a plastic standard thickness used for calibration. The battery unfortunately is not included. It takes a standard 9 volt battery which is located in the handle. The weight of the battery helps to balance out the weight of the device which is very comfortable to hold. Let's start calibrating the device for which you need the standard thickness, the ferrous material and the non-ferrous material. Make sure you remove the plastic protective foils before starting the calibration. Turn on the device by pulling the trigger. Pick one of the substrates and measure it. 0 the device by pressing the 0 button. Put the standard thickness on the substrate and measure again. Next, press the calibration button. Set the value of the device to that of the standard thickness by pressing the up and down button. Press the calibration button to confirm the setting. Now check the calibration by measuring the standard thickness again. Do the same for the other substrate. Let's start with the little Fiesta. I know for sure this car had some panels repainted before once in its life. As you can see, the hood measures around 113 micron and this low of a value is mostly an indication of original paint. Now let's check the door and the front wing. As you can see, the door has fairly thick paint of around 134 microns. The front wing, however, has fairly thin paint. It could have been polished multiple times in its life. Now onto the front and back door. The left door measures 97 microns. And the right door measures 170 microns. Clearly this door has been repainted. Whether you're a professional detailer or enthusiastic hobby detailer, it is impossible to know the history of a car's paint. It could have been wet sanded before and could have gotten through multiple polishing cycles. Although compounds and polishes remove small microns of paint, it makes sense to check the paint thickness before tackling any polishing or wet sanding job. Check the door shots first because usually they have the thinnest coat of paint. Compare the thickness of the door shots to that of the other body panels. The difference gives an indication of the playroom you have for polishing. Do your measurements across the car and keep track of your measurements. When doing a whole car it makes sense to put this on paper so you have a roadmap of the car's paint thicknesses. Doing it this way, you can mark out areas where the paint is thin and take extra care when polishing or wet sanding. The great thing about this thickness gauge is that it dynamically switches between substrates. As you can see, the front wing of this E60 is aluminium and the door is made from metal. You won't have any issues when measuring the majority of the cars. 
If you want to bring shine to paint that hasn't got many defects or scratches, polishing by hand is definitely a safe option when not having a paint gauge. A fraction of the paint is removed by hand polishing and it won't cause severe issues. When wet sanding or machine polishing, you will remove far more paint than by hand polishing. In these situations, it is recommended to check the car's paint before starting your work. Again, we don't know what's already been done to the paint. The Itari TC115 is a reliable and affordable paint thickness gauge. The handle-like shape makes it easy and comfortable to hold and the possibility to measure non-ferrous as well as ferrous substrates makes it a versatile tool for any detailer or car enthusiast. I would like to thank Paint Thickness Gauges for sending me this unit for review. They offer a wide variety of paint thickness gauges. Check their Instagram or eBay site for more information and up-to-date pricing information. For me, this tool is a nice addition to my car detailing collection and I will certainly keep this tool in my detailing bag for future use. Thank you all for watching, like, subscribe and I will see you in the next one.